Looks like we are live. Just give a minute here for people to shuffle in. Silence my phone. hook again. Secure my board to my table so it doesn't slide all over the place. Came around a little bit. Hello, hello, everyone joining in. Uh, my name is Cody Sherman. Uh, again, this is Artful Connections. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday morning. We are working again on my board. Uh, the that I kind of made for my Dungeons and Dragons group. Yeah, don't make fun. Yay, our time. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Um, if you're new to the stream, I do woodcut printmaking. Uh, woodcut printmaking, of course, is the process of removing uh, removing wood to create a printable surface. So, uh, essentially, with what you see here, I need to get rid of most everything that is green so that the black area is uh, raised and will create uh, essentially like a big stamp, like a big wooden stamp. So, um, I had a couple people ask me last stream a, a few questions that I will get into uh, maybe once we have a few more people in. Um, give them that first like 10 minutes to start shuffling in. Need, this is a kind of a small bench hook for the for the board I'm working on. actually carving along with me but uh you don't have to be you can be drawn on your own you can be painting you can do whatever you want um if you're not working on some artwork if you're just watching that's totally fine too we're just happy that we can share this art with you every week every every weekday <laughs> i'm just fridays but we have plenty of amazingly talented artist mentors that stream every day from 11.30 to 12.30. I've been neglecting the bottom part of this, of this board, so I'm trying to, trying to make that better. So let's say in about, uh, let's do like six minutes, I'll do uh, a little show and tell of some of my old prints. A lot of you may, if you're familiar with my work, you've probably already seen them before. But uh, we had some questions last time about uh, how to color your prints and the different options that come with that. So 
I, I brought some examples. some pretty intense copyright free music going on right now I feel like I need to be like defusing a bomb rather than carving a block of wood out and if the music's too loud or if I'm too loud uh, let me know in the chat I can make adjustments So for people that are watching, um, what's all, uh, it doesn't even have to be art projects. What, uh, what projects are you working on right now during this time of self-isolation and, uh, social distancing, quarantine, fun business? What are y'all doing to keep busy? We, we have a streamer in here too. Streaming's gotten big during this time, obviously. <laughs> I was just messing around with uh, some new mic systems the other day. When I say the other day, I mean yesterday. <laughs> um, had access to a couple, uh, like, uh, you know, like wireless, like, pin mics. Um, those might be pretty handy. Of course, I have, uh, I'm rocking the blue snowball. Courtesy of Art Force Iowa. It was in the, the recording studio, but of course people are not exactly recording right now. So I got to borrow it. Yeah. One of these days. 
Okay. Alright, like I said, okay, we're 10 minutes into the stream. I'll do my little show and tell. Um, let's see if I can make my face camera a little bit bigger. Um, hide the art cam. There we go. Face cam. Alright, so, first thing I want to show you is... So, of course, you can print in all sorts of different colors. This one I did, it was a live printing during the, the Downtown Arts Festival. Um, this one printed in teal. Uh, I mentioned there is a way that you can print, it's called a blend roll. So, in a, this is not a blend roll, of course, but blend roll, it would be so, like, it would go from, like, teal to another color. So, maybe, like, teal to orange, teal to purple, something like that. Um, you just have to spread the ink out along it just so it just kind of slowly, like, blends into the new color. Blend rolls look pretty cool, but I didn't have an example of that on hand. Um, there's this one. This is titled State Fair. Uh, this was in the Iowa State Fair at one point, um, some years ago, I don't remember what year, uh, but, oh, and it's kind of being green screened through right now, uh, some of the parts anyway. So, this one is a multi-block print, meaning that there were several, several blocks carved out that went into the printing of it. So, uh, there was one block that was just all of the black lines, so it was just a black and white print. It would essentially look like what the last print I showed you uh, would look like. So black and white, and then all of the other colors, um, the shirt, the grass, sky, the ground, the booths, the balloons, everything. Uh, they were all on their own separate blocks and printed uh, one at a time. So... Um, and some of these I was able to fit more than one color on so probably I did like the balloons and the shirt on one block because they didn't they don't touch each other so I can ink these up pink ink this up purple and print it and then once everything's all like it's almost like a, a puzzle once everything's all put together then you put the black on top to combine it all and there you go you have a colored print And then the last technique, uh, this is a reduction print. Um, they're more popular, popularly known as uh, suicide prints, but I'm not a big fan of that name. So reduction print is the official name for it. So reduction print it is the process of you carve out everything you want to stay white. So the teeth, the eyes, the white of the eyes, that was carved out. And then everything was printed this lightest brown. Like you can kind of see like here on the nose, this lightest brown. Um, yeah. Yeah, not all of them. That's just, that's just one method to do. Um, but uh, so the lightest brown, and then once everything... Uh, then I print all my prints with the lightest brown and then I carve away everything that I want to stay that light brown so I carve out all this and so then I'm on the next darkest color brown and then I print everything with that and so when in the process of doing so you're building up this image and by the end of it you have this like nice nicely layered built up image but then you can never print it again because after each layer, you have to carve more away. So, once it's done, it's done. If you mess up in the process, you gotta start all over again. So, I this is like one of the last prints I have of this one. I try to keep my prints pretty affordable. This is the exception, because it can never be printed again. <laughs> um, and there was only eight ever printed. So, uh, if you're looking to drop a bunch of money... <laughs> I got one left. It's got your name on it. Uh, yeah, my prints are normally around... I, I try to keep my art pretty affordable. Prints are normally 20 30 40 bucks, but with that one just being the process in which it took 
and the difficulty and the scarcity. That one is up to 300, so that is, like I said, a little pricier. <laughs> so let's go back down. show and tell thank you for joining me for show and tell back to carving sneaking around or my computer just made a popping sound so if I stop streaming or if you see like puffs of smoke coming in this direction uh, that's what that was Okay, I can fix that. I said I was going to work on the bottom of this. I better get back. <laughs> Man, this music is way too epic for what I'm doing right now. Or maybe it just makes it look cooler than how it actually is. One thing I guess I forgot to mention with that reduction print block, um, it's a reduction print, but it's also a multi-plate, so kind of like with the State Fair one, um, I should, it's a double reduction is what I should say. There was two reductive plates printed on that same image, so it's, it was even more of a, a risk. <laughs> any point either of those blocks could have went wrong and I could have lost everything. But they turned out surprisingly well. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to switch up my royalty free music just cause last time I was like I was starting to get stuff with words in it and then one of them was like a royalty free free song about Grand Theft Auto and it wasn't exactly you say uh, family friendly here 
let's uh um here we go this one's a little more chill <laughs> Also, I am definitely doing uh, what you should not be doing and carving towards my hand over here. Never carve towards your hand. scare people away. Get that little island right there. Carve that out.
fixing stuff a little bit. Oop, there we go. All right. Every once in a while, I look up and I realize that I just got a shot that's just my hand. I'm trying to do that the least amount possible so you don't have to see my pasty white hands. Wish I had an extra camera person on hand who could just zoom in on the area that I'm working on. <laughs> But I, because I, I always tend to like, I work all over the board, so, I mean, you've seen me already, I mean, I did it in this stream, I will work in one corner, then I'll go to the next, and I'll just fly all over the piece. This one, I'm trying to stay focused as much as I can on this bottom part, just because it's, it's easy, and I just need to get rid of it, and it's almost done. So if you've tuned in for any of my previous streams, you've seen, uh, that I like to try, especially with the, with the outside parts like this, um, I like to try to keep a consistent direction with my carving. So this one being up and down rather than like, so up and down rather than left and right, um, that way it kind of creates a little bit of a, it might be hard to see, but a little bit of a, a texture on the board. Woo, just got really red there. My white balance is all over the place. Anyway. <laughs> distracted I was almost done I need to keep doing what I'm doing here we go way through the stream um, here let me finish carving this corner out and then I'll do uh, I like to I like to do all the, the pluggables halfway through and then and at the end it gives me a chance to make my green screen joke too so But yeah, with it being, it's May 1st, happy May, even though I realize it kind of seems like to a lot of people, time doesn't really exist right now. Um, but with it May 1st, I remember when I was a kid, I don't even know if people still do this, but like, May Day? 
May Day was a thing. Do people still do May Day? I honestly, I, I never, I, I still don't really know what May Day was for. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, it's the holiday where you fill up solo cups full of popcorn and give and leave them on your friend's door. I, uh, that's all I know about May Day. <laughs> We, as a country, we fought for our rights to be able to leave popcorn in red solo cups on people's doorsteps. So, because of that, oh, and so yeah, May Day. All I know, May Day, uh, popcorn and red solo cups, and it's also what planes say when they're about to crash. I don't know why either of those things. Um, but uh, that's why uh, for today's uh, splash screen, uh, I went with this. Oh, and I have like a little... Uh, here's, I have, I have a green shirt, so here we go. I'm, like, really in the cockpit. There. Woo! So, oh, whoop, it's this shoulder. So here we go. Happy May Day, everyone. Um. Oh, I realize that my image is all, like, encroaching in on my ads. Oh, no. Uh oh, shoot, hold on. There we go. That's still a little too far. So now I'm in my pl I'm in my plane delivering Mayday baskets. Hooray! Happy Mayday. Um. Uh, as always, thank you to Art Force Iowa. <laughs> this is brilliant. Tune in just the right time. Yes. This is the halfway through pluggables time. Art Force Iowa, uh, as always, thank you for hosting these artful connections every weekday, 11.30 to 12.30. Uh, I'm always here on Fridays, so be sure to tune in. Uh, Toaster Press, that's my way out of date website, but it links you to my store, uh, my Instagram, and my Facebook. My Instagram is probably what I keep up, most of the, or up to date the most, but with everything going on, I don't have a whole lot to update. So, uh, yay. Here's, here's Mayday. Mayday baskets and plane crashing Mayday. Woo! I just pulled, like, a green shirt out of my closet and it works really well. So I can be, like, I can just be, like, a floating head. Woo! Anyway. Um, back to the art. You know what? I might just add, just for Mayday, um, let's see, I need an image, a new one. There we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, whoops. Nope. There we go. I'll keep my I'll keep my basket of uh I'll keep my basket of uh Mayday popcorn nearby. Well, uh, th thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It, it, it. it was weird. It seemed like everyone tuned in in the middle of that. <laughs> so, 
So, uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I like to do the I like to do the pluggables twice per stream because you know some people can't stay for the whole thing. So, I'm gonna plug them pluggables. It's popcorn. The ratings are going. Th I actually lost a bunch of viewers by doing that. <laughs> Yeah, it's the popcorn that you put in, like, the reds. Well, okay, maybe you weren't there for my explanation, but... Yeah, May Day, like, growing up, and I, I still don't know what May Day is for, but I just know that May Day, you leave solo cups full of popcorn on your friend's doorstep, and uh, it's also what you yell when your plane is about to crash, or it's already crashed. So, uh... Hence the photo. <laughs> oh, this song may be a little too dubsteppy for me. I'm just not feeling this royalty free music today. I turned it way down, so I'll turn it up a little bit. I think, like, I think I had it too loud earlier. I think it was scaring away people. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna start working my way inside the image. Um. Let's put the thing where you can see it. There it goes. Trust me, I would love to, but uh, I don't think I don't think Rage Metal is on brand with uh, Art Force Iowa. Maybe if I did my own streams on my own channel again. He's starting to pop right out. This dopey cracking thing. I don't know. I mean, if people want me to, I will. I really wanted to do, um, I might even do on this channel, I really want to, like, also do some, a little bit of, like, painting, but not, like, like 2d paint like i have i've mentioned this in past streams like these miniatures i really want to like like show the process i go through with painting those uh but unfortunately i lost all my paints no idea where they went they just vanished one day and those were some decent paints so um 
If anyone wants to donate some uh, soft body acrylics, uh, hit me up. You can't see the mess, but I have to vacuum after every um, after every live stream. It just gets a little. There's like dust and chunks of wood just everywhere. Shaky cam, sorry. miniatures that I've already painted um, is he nearby oh looks like I got a couple so yeah take a break from carving for a second um, here's one wow that color does not show up great on this camera uh, probably because of the green background but it's not focusing either. Uh, but he's like using magic to like summon like a zombie out of there. And the zombie, I gave him a red shirt, green skin, trying to make him look like uh, like Michael Jackson's Thriller. Um, yeah, man, it really does not show that color. Because it's like purple and gold. And here's the other one. So it looks like he's got a chunk of paint missing. I might need to fill that back in, but um, focus. Got to do this. Oh, that kind of works. Do like makeup tutorial. But uh, yeah, that's those. I'm still like learning how to do it, uh, so they are probably not like top tier just yet. But you know, you're never you're never gonna get better at something unless you like practice a lot. So I just think that would be neat. But again, no idea where my paints went. So I know I gotta, oh wow, <laughs> everyone left. Well, to the couple of you that are still here, um, if you haven't been in my previous streams, uh, right now to do the line work, I'm using what is called a V groove. That's what this is. V groove, uh, it comes to the point at the end where I can get those nice like lines down in the wood. Otherwise, I use this is a U gouge. 
uh, essentially just a scoop. Just go through and just scoop out large chunks. Also, feel free. There we go. Feel free to ask any and all questions you may have about uh, what I'm doing. Um, anything? <laughs> uh, what I'm doing? Uh, uh, you know, my role in Art Force Iowa. Uh, how are these? You know, these artful connections, like. Any questions at all? Um, let me know. I meant to make tea before this so I could drink it while I was working on this, but I totally forgot. I tend to talk a lot during these streams so I get a little perched. this little part over here and I just needed to had to get rid of it I'm just using two webcams, so it isn't really anything fancy. Well, the one, the webcam that's showing the artwork right now is on a a small tripod, so that's as fancy as I get around here. But no, I wish I had like a zoom function that I could easily get to. be nicer to have a longer bench hook because I'm actually like carving off of the table on this end. <laughs> Not very stable. I was halfway hoping I'd finish this thing, but 
I way underestimated how uh, how much more I had to do. Well, thank you. Hopefully this could be like, uh, you know, a stress relief or something during this time. Anybody, uh, anybody in the chat, all three or four of you, <laughs> anybody in the chat get some good, uh, get some good takeout or anything like that during this time? Maybe you're making some good food right now. That could very well be. Oof, I am doing what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, no, I get that. I'm also paranoid. I think I've only done it like once or twice just because, yeah, you never know. And I will say like the one time I did it, this was a few weeks ago now, so, you know, I, I'm sure I'm, I'm good at this point. Uh, no, a few weeks ago, uh, cool basil, nice. A few weeks ago, I ordered a, a burrito from Poncheros. But I found out that it was going to cost like $20 in total to have it delivered. So I'm like, okay, can I do store pickup? And yep, sure enough, you can do store pickup. So ordered ordered the burrito and I got to Poncheros and I was thinking like, you know, maybe somebody inside the store sees me. And, uh, maybe somebody inside the store sees me and they bring me out my burrito. And I look in the door. And, no, there's a line of people. Like, ordering food. You can't dine in. But there was still, like, a line of people. And I'm like, uh, like, people were trying to keep their distance. It's like, this doesn't feel great. And so... Yeah, I walked in, I was like, hey, I'm doing a pickup, and they had my bag behind the counter, so I just, like, grabbed my bag and ran, but I am definitely not risking standing in line like that. Yep, Des Moines got some good food. Now, I realize I said Poncheros, which is a chain. <laughs> Uh, if you're looking for a awesome local burrito place similar to Poncheros, I check out Fernando's in the Drake neighborhood. Fernando's is great. I've always wanted to try that uh, that Chicago dog place next to Fernando's. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, no, it always sounds good. But man, I always have trouble spending money on hot dogs because of what they are like it's also like spending a bunch of money on a fancy grilled cheese like I'm sure it's delicious I'm sure it's amazing but at the end of the day I'm like man do I really want to spend like eight dollars on a grilled cheese again sure it's amazing I'm sure the ingredients are phenomenal and are worth the money alone but I still feel weird about it <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Adam. I don't know how far uh, how far away you are, but maybe uh, 
Maybe if you paid like a what are those things called DoorDash or something? Like a ton of money. Maybe they'll drive to wherever you are. <laughs> Whether it be town over, state over, country over. I don't know. I got a good DoorDash story. Um, someone I know uh, they were at home one day I'm, I'm going to modify this story ever so slightly to protect the innocent. Uh, <laughs> they were sitting at home and uh, they had a knock on their door so they went to the door and in front of their apartment door was a bag of Taco Bell. And they didn't order Taco Bell. There was no reason for those tacos to be there. Best guess is that the DoorDash person got the wrong door number and or wrong address, whatever. And they ended up with a bunch of free tacos. And they're like, uh, do we eat them? <laughs> So I'm pretty sure they enjoyed Taco Bell that day, but quite a bit of that squid's face done free taco hookup you bet dude i could definitely go for a free taco hookup yeah i live alone so i don't like i'll cook sometimes but i just feel weird just cooking for myself i don't know just about out of time got two minutes left so if you weren't for the half if you weren't here if you weren't here for the uh, the midstream pluggables I'll, I'll, I'll bring up the question to you where like again when I was a kid Mayday was a thing. I don't know if it's still a thing. But all I knew Mayday was was the day where we filled up like solo cups with popcorn and stuff like that and left them on our friends doorsteps. Still don't know what Mayday's for or you know why. Uh all I know is that and it's something that planes and ships and things like that say when they crash. This is why I got my little uh my Mayday basket right here. And so, uh, well here, let's get a look really quick on how this is looking. Ah, okay, guess I'll do this out. So, it's coming along. All right. So, all I know is like, planes crashing, popcorn um so 
this is my this, this is my green green screen gag and a dumbbell sucker so it's for I, I really wish that these uh, cups had uh, like uh, pipe cleaner handles on them that'd be even better but yes thank you for joining here I'm gonna I have this green shirt um, mayday mayday the popcorn we've lost one oh god uh, so yes, thank you for joining the stream again every uh, every weekday here on Art Force Iowa's Facebook page, uh, eleven thirty to twelve thirty Central Standard. Uh, give them some love, give them a follow, check out their stuff at the at artforceiowa.org. My old out of date website is toasterpress.com, but it'll also it'll link you to whoop, my store, <laughs> uh, my store my Instagram, my Facebook, uh, my Instagram and Facebook are kept more up to date, but with not a whole lot going on, there's not a whole lot to update. So, uh, yep. M&Ms in the popcorn too. I honestly thought about putting M&Ms in them, but I, I, I make sure to do all these like minutes before the live stream starts. <laughs> so maybe next time I can do like a Jombie the genie thing and just like have my, just have it be like my head, like, Ooh, but, uh, yes, thank you for joining. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will uh, catch you next time. Bye.